When you feel like you're down to nothing, God's up to something. He's always preparing you, getting you ready for what He has next. But you know, it requires faith to believe that. And it requires faith to believe that God even has a plan for your life. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, my plans for you are plans to prosper you. My plans for you are to give you hope and a future. That same promise for Jeremiah is our promise too. I look at this junkyard that we're standing in right here, right now, and I see this piece of junk. And you may call this trash, but I say this is a treasure. Me and my brother, we used to go to junkyards and we would pick up things that other people would discard. They would say, that's worthless, that's useless. I couldn't use that for anything. It's, it's junk, it's, it's nasty. But John and I would find a way to use it for something. We saw potential and purpose in it. And God sees the same potential and purpose in you. He sees you as valuable. I heard a story about this old statue that sat in the middle of Bangkok. This old statue was really just an ugly sculpture. People wanted to get rid of it. As they were moving the statue, pieces of this rock statue began to crumble off and inside of it sat the largest pure gold, golden statue in all of Asia. The most expensive, valuable, significant uh, uh, golden statue was hiding inside of what people had called worthless, what people had written off as ugly, as useless. And I wanna tell you something today, there's gold inside of you. Maybe you feel like this trash. You feel beat up and broken. You feel like there's no hope or future for your life. Well, I wanna tell you today, God does have a plan. If you'll get your faith in line with His Word and say, God, you're not through with me yet. My best days are in front of me. I will see victory in my life. I will get through this. God, you're gonna carry me through this and I'm gonna thrive on the other side. There's light at the end of the tunnel. You know, I think about this woman who had been through a pretty bad marriage. Her husband abused her. He was harsh to her. He was mean to her. He left her for another woman. She felt broken and abused. She felt like she was thrown in the junkyard. She said, God, you could never use me. I could never have a ministry. I've messed up too bad. I I'm used, I'm abused, I'm worthless. But God brought another man into her life. She remarried that man and it was hard. Their marriage wasn't peaceful in the beginning. In fact, she had lost trust in a lot of men. She felt like he was gonna hurt her just like her last husband. But God began to work in her heart and he did a miracle in her life. And she began to believe with faith, God, you can still use me. Even though I've gone through so much, you could still use me. God, you have a plan for my life. She got her faith in line with his word. Today, that woman has been married for 30 plus years. Her ministry is powerful. Her name is Joyce Myers. Your destiny is tied to the obstacles you need to overcome. Those things that are facing you that look so difficult are the very things God is gonna use for your testimony to help other people get free.